giving all the details. So the, and, uh, the New York Times was the first to basically real, half out the whistleblower by saying he's a CIA officer who had been assigned to the White House. And, and, right. and Real Clear Investigations has identified a man named Eric Cherimella as the whistleblower. So it's already out there. We could be talking about this reporting and talking about whether that's accurate reporting or not. So I feel hmm. a little bit confused about why we're pretending that it hasn't already been I just reported. want to clarify but that I don't know that that's that the person. That might be the first time that the name has been mentioned on Fox News. I, 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 I just not by a Fox News reporter. I just want to clarify that, that, that I, and I'm going to come to you on this. I don't know whether this is actually the person or not, and I don't want to speculate about that. But there have been a few conservative outlets and commentators who have floated that name or the other names. Uh, is this an effort to have it sort of ooze into the mainstream media? Well, I think there has been a lot of speculation. When you look at social media, you have YouTube and Facebook who have decided to try to block all mentions of this individual's name. Twitter, it's been free reign. So I've heard that name before, which Molly has said a lot of people have. Um, so the question is whether or not this person should come forward. Should the media out of wow. Should we hear about it from Ram Facebook Paul? and YouTube.